catch them is my real test To train them is my cause I'll travel across the land Searching far and wide Please welcome on to understand The power that's inside Pokemon, gotta catch them Gotta catch them all Our courage will pull us through You teach me and I teach you Pokemon Gotta catch them all Gotta catch them all Wait, why is there another, like, unit to this? Okay, we seem to have everything in working order. Quick, there we go. Everything seems to be in order now. And that is loud as fuck. It's louder than Snoop Dogg's weed in here. There we go. Now I won't wreck my eardrums playing this. Let me get the chat up so I can see what you find people are saying. Oh, fuck me. Oh, I forgot. I'm not logged in on my new phone. Yes. Incorrect. I logged in on this thing yesterday. Well, not this specifically, but I logged into my account. Okay, there we go. I need to get the two-factor authenticator. Remember the days when you could just put in like a four-number, uh, four, uh, pa four-character password that was just numbers or letters? Man, I miss those days. Okay, well the good news is, now I can see the chat. <laughs> mm. 
buttons will be explained in the various order. No. Don't care. So for those of you wondering about the title screen, Ultraviolet here is a hack of Fire Red that is basically a quality of life hack. You don't need to use, um, you don't need to trade to evolve any of your Pokemon. Every Pokemon from the, that's obtainable in the game can be obtained. It basically, if it's in the decks, it can be obtained. There are a few additions that come in later on, but we'll get to those, like, way down the line. Oh, wait, no, that's not entirely true. Um... Yeah, there we go. This has a few special... This hack also has a few special features. There are certain tiles where if you step in them, the next Pokémon you encounter will be a shiny. Um... Which I think is super cool. I think a lot of pe people would probably say that it, um ruins what makes shiny special in the first place uh, being their rarity but I mean I've only ever caught I've only ever encountered like I think three shinies in my entire 20 years playing Pokemon so there you go all right let's pick up the potion from the PC draw item and then let's go into the menu excuse Okay, that's select. Um, okay, that's different. Excuse me for a second, I need to adjust the controller. Why is start enter? There we go. Yeah, that's better. Set the frame type. Yeah, do we do red, green, blue, gold, silver, checkered? Yeah, I'll do red. I like red. Red's a good color. Now, I actually don't know how long we'll be playing this for. I have to be up by 7 tomorrow, and it's like 9 right now. Um, so this will probably be a short episode. Professor Oak is looking for us. Gary's house. I mean, we could go to the lab, we could speedrun this. I... I'll... I don't know. Wait, it's only you? Uh, what? It's only Ash. Grabs is it around. Th that... Reading that out loud is weird. Hey, wait, don't go out. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. Grams, I'm fed up with waiting. Gary, let me think. Oh, that's right, I told you to come. Just just wait. Here, Ash, there are three Pokemon here. Ha! The Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on, choose. Hey, Gramps, no fair. What about me? Be patient, Gary. You can have one, too. Now, there's another special feature in this ROM hack, um, where you can go and catch a Pokemon. Would you rather catch your first Pokemon? Um, I'm trying to remember the roster. I'd have to have the fucking walkthrough pulled up. I know that you can catch a Dratini, which having one this early on in the game, yeah, that's nice. But he, the reason I'm not going to do it is I don't like the Safari Ball look for um, the Pokemon I would have chosen. If I could have caught the Pichu and raised it into a Pikachu in a regular ball, that would have been fine by me. But a Safari Ball? Those things are ugly. Yeah, I'll take Bulbasaur. The 
Let's see, is it a boy or a girl? Alright, it's a boy. I always pick Bulbasaur because um, that's what Red picked in the Pokemon Adventures manga. Gary received the Charmander from Professor Oak. My Pokemon looks a lot tougher than yours. If a wild Pokemon appears, your Pokemon can battle it. With it at your side, you should be able to research the next uh, to reach the next town. Wait, Ash, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. I just realized Gary has ginger hair. No wonder he's a dick. He doesn't have a soul. He's a soulless bastard! <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake, so pushy as always. Ash, you've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? A Pokemon battle is where trainers pit their Pokemon against each other. The trainer that makes the other trainer's Pokemon faint by lowering their HP to zero wins. But rather than talking about it, you'll learn more from experience. Try battling and see for yourself. That was weird. I would have swore I heard a noise behind me just now. I'm sorry about that, everybody. Sword's attack fell. It's happened to me mm, twice, I think. It's, it's it's possible. It's not common to happen, but it can. What? Unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokemon. Excellent. If you win, you earn prize money, and your Pokemon will grow. Battle the other trainers and make your Pokemon strong. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. Nash, Gramps, smell you later. is a little shit. Alright, we heal up our Pokemon. Answers that the bot that I have set up decided to go fucking nuts and spam the notification. Don't worry, those of you guys watching on YouTube, I'll edit this out. Thank goodness this happened early on. Ash, I heard you had a battle against Gary. I wish I'd seen that. What do you got for me? Ratata? Eh. We'll knock it out. Oh, 
Hi, I work at a Pokemon. Or, it's part of a convenience chain selling all sorts of items. Please visit us at a. What the fuck? Please visit us in Viridian City. I know, I'll give you a sample. Here you go. Obtain the potion. Nice. Oh! Oh, God bless it. Well, the good news is I can I, I can find this Pokemon, I can find this Pidgey again. But, uh, yeah, we, we must have passed through one of those shiny tiles. I wish I had a Pokeball right now. I'll be back for you later, Pidgey. See those ledges on the road? It's a bit scary, but you can jump from them. You can get back to Pallet Town quicker that way. Yeah, that move's okay. I prefer moves like Giga Drain or shit. Well, maybe not Leech Life. Leech Life is ass. It is a terrible move in Gen 3. I vaguely remember it being better in later gens, but I cannot for the life of me remember which one. It's been a good long time since I've played. Garlic, what are you doing? No. No. That's right, we're not supposed to go here. We're supposed to go here. Hey, you came from Pallet Town? You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I get you to take it back to him? Ash received Oak's parcel from the Pokemart. Right, we got the item, we'll put it in our backpack, and we'll take it back to Professor Oak. Let's go say hi to the drunk uncle in the street. I absolutely forbid you from going through here. This is private property. Oh, Grandpa, don't be so mean. I'm sorry. He hasn't had his coffee yet. Yeah, he's, he's trashed. My daddy loves Pokemon, too. Hmm. Coming up with nicknames is fun, but it's not so easy to do. Clever names are nice, but simple names are easier to remember. Yeah, I don't nickname my Pokemon. I have never had the creativity for it. Well, that's not entirely true. Maybe when we play Pokemon Gaia or um, Renegade Platinum, you guys will see <laughs> what I nicknamed my Turtwig. If Omen's watching, he's, he's probably, he knows. He already knows what it is. Oh, excuse mm. Mm. Oh, Ash, how's your Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be a talent, uh, you must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that, you have something for me? Ash delivered Oak's parcel. <laughs> ah, it's the custom Pokeball. I had it on order. I had it on order. Thank you, Gramps. I om I almost forgot. What did you call me for? Oh right, I have a request for you two. On the desk there is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Ash and Gary, take these with you. You can't get detailed data on Pokemon just by seeing them. You must catch them to obtain complete data. So here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. 
All right, five Pokeballs. When a wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a ball at it and try to catch it. This won't always work, however. A healthy Pokemon can escape. You have to be lucky. To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream. But I'm too old. I can't get the job done. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. All right, Gramps, leave it all to me. Ash, I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know. I'll borrow a town map for my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one. Ha! Don't bother coming around my place after this. Fun story for you guys. When I was first playing Fire Red at the, um, as a little seven-year-old, I actually took that literally. I didn't think you would get a town map if you went to his house. And so I just played through the entire game without the town map, which, oof, big oof. Grandpa asked you to run an errand for him? Gee, that's lazy of him. Here, this will help you. Yeah, there we go. <sighs> Excuse me. Bag. Register. That's not what I wanted to do. So yeah, it's standard affair. Now I don't really play the game with the town map because... Well, I've kind of memorized Kanto and um, to every last detail. And the unique areas added by this ROM hack aren't necessarily shown on the map. Wait, I'm stupid. No, I'm not. It's this way. Here, burp. Oh, that's curious. Again with a... Jeez, what on earth? Maybe I missed the tile. Rough shape. We better go back home and heal. Oh shit. We might not be able to run. We might be in trouble now. Like, really serious trouble. If I white out from a Ratata, that's gonna be embarrassing. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I don't do Nuzlocks either. I don't, I don't hate myself enough for that. I, uh, I asked my brother if he ever planned to do a Nuzlocke run, and, uh, he had a very similar answer. In fact, that's where I got, uh, that's where I even got that phrase from, I don't hate myself enough for that. Because he said that only self-loathing people play Nuzlocke runs. Especially hardcore Nuzlocke runs, which, yeah, that's, it's, it's pretty fucking crazy. Okay, we have another wild rat, huh? Please excuse me for a second. Here we go. Yeah, 
that's what I'm looking for. Ooh. Oh, good lord. You got for me now. All right, yeah, sure, I'll take it. It is. It's. I, I wonder if it's the same Pokemon. Hmm. We might be too strong. Let's use Leech Seed and Growl just to make sure. Leech Seed is not very effective against Pidgey because it's a flying type. So let's just start growling. to at least get down to yellow. Then I'll use one of the balls on it. We might not have that option. Never mind. Fuck. Pidgey is hitting like a... This level 2 Pidgey is uh, proving to be a problem. Yeah! Nice! not like to fight, it hides in tall grass and so on, foraging for food such as small bugs. Hmm. Do I have anything to heal my mons with? I mean, I have these two potions, but that's really better for a gym battle. Or a really tough rival battle or trainer battle. I think I'll head back to town and heal up. Switch over to Pidgey so we can run. Okay, the answer is probably not, no. Guess it's Bulbasaur, it's time to shine. Okay. 
I'll take it. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, this doesn't look like a battle we can win. Better switch over to Bulbasaur. We'll see them. You know, I was trashing on Leech Seed earlier this video, it's coming in clutch! I spoke too soon! Oh wait, uh... Okay, thank god. Should probably be okay. Yeah, all right, we can do this. We can do this. <laughs> Not that. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Viridian City. Alright. I'm gonna heal up and then I'm gonna go into the Viridian Forest because I want me my Pikachu. That that little rodent is so dang cute. Pikachu is easily my favorite Pokemon. He's freaking adorable. Oh yeah, it's the old man. Well, now that I've had my coffee, and that's what I needed to get going. Hmm? What's that red box you have? Ah, so you're working on your Pokedex. Then let me give you a word of advice. Whenever you catch a Pokemon, the Pokedex will automatically update it, the data. You don't know how to catch a Pokemon? I suppose I'd better show you then. Yeah, I didn't turn and talk to him. The game forces this on you. I'm not a fan. It's like, you, you old ass nerd. I, I already have, like, two Pokemon that I caught from the wild, both of which are shiny. You, you do not need to be doing this. There, now tell me, that was educational, was it not? And here, take this too. The Teachy TV. Yeah, I... No. Fucking load up a fucking miniature TV into my backpack. One potion. Very nice. Oh, you know what? Let's save the game before I forget. We'd hate for something to happen and we lose the progress we've made. Nothing out of the ordinary in that ton patch of grass, so we're just gonna walk past it. No, we're gonna walk past it. <laughs> Rattata may be small, but don't underestimate its wicked bite. Have you caught one already? Are you going into the Verdian Forest? It's a natural maze in there. Be careful you don't get lost. Now, I have noticed that Pikachus tend to spawn most frequently in this corner down here. We found one potion. That's a Weedle. Well, you know what, I'll pick it up anyway.
was it level 7 that they evolve into their chrysalis forms? Yes, that sounds right. Level 7, I believe. Wow, okay, you know what? Um, given Pidgey needs the EXP, let's make Weedle faint instead. Oh, of course. Some karmic payback for making a Weedle faint, I suppose. Little forest critter. Alright, I better go take him to the hospital. Fuck. What level is he? Calm nature. Man, I completely forget what the natures do. Wait, I wasn't looking for nature, I was looking at- Oh, he's level 2? Didn't even pay off. Wow. we go. Thank you for watching. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. Please take care. I vaguely remember that old guy saying that, like, his son developed the TGTV. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention when he gave the item to us. Who knows? Alright, the search for Pikachu. Attempt number two. That's a Caterpie. Well, this one can't poison us, so let's try and knock it out with Pidgey and get a level for him. Yeah! Oh, come on, come on. We got this. We got this. Yeah! That's how it's done. That Pidgey levels up to three. Seven more minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Seven more minutes, if, and if we can't find the, the uh, boy Pikachu that I'm looking for, we're gonna have to do it later.
gotta make extra sure this doesn't faint. Can't move. Okay, you know what? There we go. Save state. We've come too far. We have come way too fucking far for this. Alright. Now. Woo! Yeah, baby! It has small electrical sacks on its cheeks. If threatened, it looses electric charges from the sacks. Wait, what is this? Ooh, it has a light bulb. Let's do it. An orb has to be held by a Pikachu that raises the special attack stat. Touching it may cause an electric shock. Okay. We are saving the game, ladies and gentlemen. Now, after editing, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, you do not know how much, actually even I don't know how many, like, hours or, or well, not hours, minutes of aimless wandering through this patch of grass I spent to catch that Pikachu. Well, that didn't do very much. Shit. Well, here goes nothing. Hey, we got it. Cool. Weedle's data has been added to the Pokedex. Often found in forests and grasslands, it has a sharp, toxic barb around two inches on the top of its head. Let's head back to town, heal everybody up, restock on the Pokeballs, and then that sounds like a good place to save the game. Because it's about 10 now where I live. And I mean, I could be, um... I could theoretically stream to like 10.30, but I don't know. I'm, I'm actually kind of tired. Probably come, probably because I spent like a good hour to an hour uh, to two hours outside doing the um, cleaning the dog yard and then breaking down branches to put into the yard waste bin. So yeah, let's resupply. Stock up on provisions. Let's buy ten. There we go. Oh, that's right. Premier balls weren't in this game. That didn't. That wasn't a thing. It, that's only a thing in Ruby Sapphire, Emerald, and then Gen Four onward. Actually, I don't remember. Did Premier Balls exist in Heart Gold and Soul Silk? I'd have to double check that. They might have, actually, because those were Gen 4 games. <sighs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all have a fine evening. I'm tired. I'm just gonna go to bed. Good night.